Hello, I'm our Facts of Mars. And there's a disturbing report out that something exploded near one of our Air Force bases in Greenland. Now, it was uh, near a place called Thule. And I'm going to show you the base. It's called Peterson Air Force Base. It's on Greenland. And apparently this thing exploded right above an early warning radar. And there, and the Air Force is not talking about it. I wonder why that would be. Now the explosive yield was about 2.1 kilotons. And by comparison, the Hiroshima bomb was 15. So, it was a, basically the yield of a mini-nuke. And it exploded near the base above an early warning radar. And one thing they're saying is it could have been mistaken for a Russian first strike. Which means it could have triggered a nuclear war. Excuse me. The explosion contained 2.1 kilotons of force and occurred just above an early warning radar at Thule Air Force Base in June. According to Hans Christensen, Director of the Nuclear Information Project for the Federation of American Scientists. I'm going to say that again. Director of the Nuclear Information Project for the Federation of American Scientists. The key word there, of course, is nuclear. Mr. Christensen confirmed the explosion in a tweet on Wednesday, suggesting the meteor, and I say that in quotes, could have been mistaken for a Russian first strike. However, the U.S. Air Force did not release a statement regarding the meteor or even tweet about the phenomenon. When contacted for comment, representative for the Secretary of the Air Force Public Affairs told the Independent, we are not providing any comment on that, except that it didn't impact operations at Thule. That is a lie, madam. Or sir, whatever. You are a liar. Liar, liar, pants on fire. That is a lie. The reason it's a lie is, there's no way that that yield of an explosion could have uh, happened that close to the base without it impacting something. Sorry, I'm sure that I'm sure it rattled some cages, if nothing else. Reporting meteor explosions is not typically a job of the Air Force, so it would be considered commonplace for any military branch to at least acknowledge an incident. An incident of this magnitude near one of the spaces. I'm going to skip down. The incident was confirmed in part by data published by NASA or Never Straight Answers JPL, which showed an object traveling at nearly 24.4 kilometers per second. In real units, it's 15 miles per second over Thule on 25 July around midnight. So this didn't happen all that long ago, 25th of July. Uh, something happened here, and they are not talking. They're calling it a meteor to mollify the public, but obviously, if they're calling it a meteor and they're not willing to talk about it, then we got a serious problem. You don't just have that type of thing happen near a military base where <laughs> nobody's, nobody's even going to talk about it. We're not talking about a rock, you know, fifth-sized rock or something. Whatever this was, it was fairly big and had quite an impressive yield in terms of kilotons. Not as big as the, big as the atomic bombs were, but Obviously, but 
size of a mini nuke, basically. Not good. And I'm thinking we're not going to get any answers anytime soon. Typical. I'm Artifacts of Mars. Keep your eyes open, there's things going on. Thanks for watching.